Okay, I have here a Raspberry Pi B revision 2, one with two mounting holes. And see those differences. I got everything plugged in already. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a um, installation of Raspbian downloaded from uh, raspberrypi.org. The default uh, Raspbian image. And I'm going to put that on a hard drive, which is already plugged in. And uh, the boot partition will remain on the SD card because you are required. It will only boot, Raspberry Pi will only boot off of a SD card. So the boot partition, which is a few 60, 70 megabytes, and the rest of it will go on the hard drive. So the entire root partition will go in, in the hard drive. So, right, so we're going to go ahead. And uh, so it's going to be a full installation of. Raspbian from an image file and it's going to go fully on the hard drive. Uh, boot partition will remain uh, uh, VFAT on the SD card. And so, what I did was I made a copy of the downloaded Raspbian, Raspbian uh, inst installation here file. Okay. And uh, what I'm going to do is larger if you can see that all right so there's the file and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount it which is uh, I have two uh, folders here source and and the uh, destination which I just said temp uh, so the uh, so you can actually f disk the uh, file, and you see. And what what you need is um, you need to mount the uh, second partition, which is from uh, sector one two two eight eight zero to you know, the rest of the hard drive. And um, the rest of the image file. Um, so we're gonna mount that. So we're gonna have to do it, uh, mount it to DD, and then we're gonna put an offset so that it starts at the second partition. So we're gonna do this, mount O loop, which is the same command you use to mount CD-ROMs and other things. So we're gonna set the offset and set it to. I'm going to set that offset to um, that number 122880122880 and I'm going to multiply it by the uh, 512 here, 512 bytes and multiply by 512 and I'm going to mount the image file itself what happens when you put the dollar sign in parentheses you're not going to be able to Hit tab and finish the, uh, you know, uh, the rest of the file name. When you push tab twice, it fills it in for you. But it doesn't happen when you put in parameters. So it's done. And it's there. As you can see the image file. It's on source. And then I'm going to... The hard drive is a, a 750 gigabyte hard drive. I'm going to mount that. Mount which is right there, SDA1. I mounted on the temp. Okay, so I got it there. So it's mounted. SDA is mounting on temp, and the uh, file, the image file, is mounted on the source. Mount the source, mount the destination, and uh, I'm just gonna actually move the files over. So I'm gonna go and move uh, source star and move it to temp star and uh, so everything so when I do that everything's gonna get copied over and um, so that's gonna take a few minutes to copy over and uh, when I'm gonna yeah, that's my other Raspberry Pi just has all these other things on there and uh, so that's gonna just you know, spin the hard drive a little.
and um, everything's everything's gonna get copied over, except uh, lost and found. And also, um, I created uh, one partition uh, on the hard drive here. The uh, physical hard drive have one partition here, a uh, Linux partition, and uh, made a uh, file system which is MKE. Uh, MKFS uh, .ext4, so it's an extended four partition. And then when that's done, we're gonna actually uh, we're gonna go to um, do that again, and uh, we're gonna go to boot. I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna edit it. CMD line dot txt. Okay, so what's what that's gonna give you is this here, which uh, and what we actually need is right there. We're gonna change root equals dev to uh, SDA1 instead of MMC. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And so root equals dev uh, SDA1 and I'm going to delete the rest of that stuff which you can't see now because the camera is not pointed high enough. And I'll just save. Okay, and I'm going to show you that in a second. I'm going to exit out of there. Cats and man line, and you'll see it here. And in order is just all I changed was this here from MMC, uh, whatever it was, to, um, to SDA1. And uh, I think what I need to reboot. So, once again, you uh, download the image file, make a copy of it, you mount the uh, source, which is the image file, with the offset, don't forget the offset, and then um, the uh, destination will be your hard drive, which could be uh, SDA1, or whatever your hard drive is, and you remove the um, source files, all of them, every... Everything in the uh, source file. Okay, so while we're waiting for the boot, um, yeah, so uh, I just moved the, all the files from, so, from the image file to the um, hard drive. And when everything's done, then uh, you'll just edit the uh, boot slash uh, command line.txt and reboot, and that's it. And so here we are. And we have, as you can see, it's uh, right here. Um, so it should be uh, 750 gig. So it's showing 652 gig, and that's the hard drive. So here we have the uh, full installation so of uh, Raspbian on the hard drive. The full installation is on there. The, uh, the only thing is boot will remain on the uh, SD card. So it's just a boot, which is uh, 56 megabytes. And uh, one other thing, uh, this drive here, which is a 7200 RPM, plus the uh, Raspberry, Raspberry Pi together uses about 18 watts measured. Uh, one of the green hard drives, like one of the Western Digital green hard drives, plus the Raspberry Pi total, uh, uses about 9 watts. So. Uh, something to think about it uses you know half the amount of power and it also is, it remains cool so depending on your goals and also uh, uh, the 7200 rpm hard drive the raspberry pi isn't going to use its full speed anyway so yeah, might as well get get the uh, green drives so
Right. So that's it. Uh, that's how you create. That's how you install uh, Raspbian on a uh, hard drive. Okay. Thanks for watching. Take. Thank you.